Hello guys, welcome back to Student Future Channel. In today's video, I will guide you how to apply for University of Naples Federico II. Master's admissions are open in this university. So let's start. First of all, you have to type in Google the name of university and search it. Here you can find the official website of this university. Open this website. I will add the link into the description. You can directly open the university website by clicking on the link. Here, when you will scroll down, you can find study in Naples 2024-2025. Call for applications for 26 two-year scholarships reserved for international students is open. And here you can see, click here. Simply click here and the website will be open. I will add this link as well into the description. You can directly open this call by clicking on the link. Here you can see call for selection and the deadline is 15 September. Simply click on call for selection and this document will be open. Here from this document you can get each and every detail related to the scholarship and application procedure. For example, the most important things I am going to tell you in this video. The first one is scroll down and here you can find enrollment degree programs eligible to award scholarship. So you can find your department from this list given in the table. So here almost 23 departments are available and almost every student can apply in masters and mostly I think every subject is in English language. Some are Italian and English both and mostly are in English language. So you can find your department from this list. For example, I am going to apply for chemical engineering. It is in both language, Italian and English. So I choose this program to apply for master's degree. This is chemical engineering. Now, after selecting your program, the next task is you have to check the admission requirements. So the admission requirement, it, this is the most important. Non-European candidates will have to be registered on the university portal. So here you have to register yourself first of all. Just open this link in new tab and start reading this paper again. Now, next step is submission of application. When you will apply at this website, then the next step is you have to submit your application. All applicants have to submit their application before September 15 and upload the necessary document that is listed in table B. And you have to apply this application by this link. Open this link as well. So these two websites are important. First, you have to register on the University Italy website. Then you have to submit your application on this website. Next step is non-European candidates will have to upload also the pre-acceptance application summary received during registration on the University Italy portal under penalty of exclusion okay so here the most important is you have to submit some documents so here is the list of documents that you have to attach with your application the first one is carrier and here you can submit your cv your certificates letter of recommendation and your portfolio documents these four documents will be in carrier documents and these documents will be given up to 15 points okay then you have to attach letter of motivation and in letter of motivation you have to mention clarity of exposition, motivation, generality yes, specific, or specificity with respect to course of study, expository, ability in English or originality. So you can mention these points in your letter of motivation and your letter of motivation will be given up to eight points. Then next document is English language certificate that can be any of these. Are Italian language certificate so both certificates are acceptable and will be given up to seven points so here total 30 points will be based on these documents so if you attach all of these documents by uh, following this criteria then you can get maximum points as there as mentioned here then the attached documentation must be legible in a single PDF format uh, okay so after Completing all of these documents, you have to make one PDF of all of these documents. For example, here at the start, you can attach your other documents like your passport, your ID card. Then you can enter your CV and summary of your registration after completing on university website. 
then you can attach a letter of motivation even each and every document you have to compile in one pdf so make it one pdf after making one pdf you have to attach it on application next you can study one most important thing i want to tell you is after acceptance the winner will be informed of the award of the study in Naples scholarship by email. When you uh, got evaluation of your documents and you win the scholarship, then you will be informed by email. Then after receiving the email, you will got the acceptance letter. Then you have to email at this ID admissions at uni, uh, university of Naples dot it. So just remember this email and you have to send email at this ID for the declaration of acceptance of study in Naples means you have to declare the acceptance under this university so they can reserve your seat that you are so you will avail this scholarship in this university so this is the next step after achieving scholarship next you can study uh, the further procedure by using this document and what to do to receive the scholarship to receive the scholarship you have to submit these documents enrollment certificate, tax code, bank details, and copy of passport. All of these achieving the admission and scholarship. Now let's start the admission process. Here the first thing is you have to apply on Universe Italy website. For this purpose, you have to simply click on this option, this profile symbol, click here. Here if you are already registered on this website, then you can enter your username and password. If not, then you have to click on new user register if you are new on this website then click on register otherwise add your id and password so i am going to tell you from the start click here on register enter all of your information enter your name your surname country of birth city of birth then enter your date of birth select your gender then select your citizenship then your tax id code will be generated automatically click here it will be added here then you have to enter your email address then confirm your email address by adding this id again then enter your cell phone number then enter your document type if you want to attach your passport or your id card driving license any of these so for me it's passport enter your passport number then issued by republic of pakistan then enter the valid date and expiry date of your passport then enter your residence details enter your village then enter your address details now you have to click on save so after that you will receive an email on the given email id in the register form uh, then you have to click on the link that you will get by your email then this type of page will be open and you can log in as i already have registered so i am going to log in here click on sign in okay now this type of page will be open here you have to click on non-european citizens the pre-enrollment application click here okay now click on this green tab new pre-registration application on the left hand side up here is you have to enter your personal data so here you can see your details if any of detail is missing you can add for example house number you can add it then all of the information okay then go to step b here you have to select academic year as well now click on go to step b okay step b is you have to enter your passport details it's already added now you can add passport photo image and passport image now first attach your passport photo image now attach your passport image okay now scroll down and here you can see state your country name where will you apply for the visa so select your option that is suitable for you for example for me it's embassy islamabad Indicate the reason for the visa request. So, of course, you want to study. I want to enroll in a course of study. So, this option. Then you have to select information about the course of study. In which institute you are going to study. For example, here, university, institution name. From here, you have to find your university name. So, you are going to apply in University of Naples. Find it from here. So, here it is. University of Naples, Federico II click here now you have to select your course type so you are going to apply for master's degree select here english language or other language you can find any by clicking any of the option for example uh, all languages as your program 
that I selected was in both language. So here I can find the subject that is in this university under master's degree. So from here you can see I selected the course chemical engineering and here I can see chemical engineering course. All of courses are available here. So select the course that you uh, found in this table. After selecting this course, here you have to select any of the uh, curriculum that you want, for example, in English and in Italy, any of these options. Then course location is Naples and here is the further detail you can confirm. Language of instruction is both in language, Italian and English. Course type is master's degree in this university. Okay, so duration is two years after reading all of the details. If you have account identification at the chosen university, then you can enter. If you don't have, then you can leave it. Then go to step C. Now in step C, you have to upload your documents. The first document is educational qualification. So attach your higher degree. For example, your uh, bachelor's degree as you are going to apply for master's. So here I will attach my bachelor's degree. So here is my degree open. Now here you have to select. You have attached your final diploma. Then title name, degree of bachelor, then click on summary. So when you will click on summary, a PDF will be open. That PDF you have to download. Let's download the document as a summary. For example, when I click here, here I can see the summary. And now you have to click on. I have read the data processing. You have to mark this. Now you have to click on submit the pre-registration application. So when you will click here, you can get, uh, receive an email with this summary document as well. So download this document. Now the next step is you have to apply for this application. So I will add these links into the description. You can directly open the application link and university link from the description. So now after completing your summary in the university website, you have to apply on the official website of this university for application. So here you can find two options, European application form and non-European application form. Click here, non-European application form. Now enter the details, your name, enter your surname, your email ID, then enter your age, then country, select your country, city and gender. From here you have to choose your educational qualification. So it is bachelor's degree. Now you have to select your course of study that you choose at the start from the table. So it is chemical engineering for me, so I will select it from here. No, you have to upload the PDF that I told you. You have to make one PDF of all of these documents. Here the first one is summary of the university portal that you will receive by email or you can download it. So this summary, first of all, make a PDF with summary. Then add ID card or passport. Then add your uh, educational qualification documents. Then add your documents for the evaluation that is career, letter of motivation, English or Italian certificate. Then add your eventual translations and legalization document. Then diploma statement document. Then certificates of exams and then declaration of value. It is optional now. But you uh, make sure you have it when you will enroll in this university. After making one PDF of all of these documents, click on choose file and attach the document that you prepare in the form of one PDF. Then you have to mark here and then you have to click on submit. When you will click on submit, your application will be forwarded to the university. Then after evaluation of your documents, you will receive the email. If you will successful after evaluation of these documents, then after that, the next step is you have to email uh, at the given ID that I told you from the uh, call application document, for example, this one and your admission process will be start. So we you very well best of luck. Uh, this scholarship it is very uh, easy process to apply in this university and you can easily gain the scholarship in this university. If you have any kind of comment for this scholarship or university, you can comment me. I will be there to reply you. So see you next video.